Greetings, fellow adventurers, and welcome back once again to another Skyrim tale. I am having an absolute blast doing this because it feels like the old days again. It feels like we are back in Skyrim, just like Vale, back in this wonderful frozen wasteland, exploring it. And it's 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 so much fun to be back here. And I just think this is the perfect end for Asylum Story. Ow, what did I just do? Wait, Bob? Bob? Is that Bob's femur? Oh, Sphemer, you tried to get my attention before I left the cave. I can't take you, though, with me, buddy. It won't let me pick you up. I'm sorry, Bob. I know, but this will have to be your final resting place. I know. I love you, too. I love you. I know. I love you with all my bone, bone marrow. I do. I love you so much. May your joints ever be f agile. I love you. I love you, Bob. I do. You need to stay here. You need to watch out for your family. Okay? Okay. I'll come back to see you later, okay, Bob? Okay. <laughs> anyway, some of you guys were asking. Um, you Some of you guys were asking. And you were... <laughs> that is the dumb... I'm sorry, Asylum. That was my fault. That's my bad. Anyway, <laughs> some of you guys were asking... Um, why Asylum gets three series when Vale only got one and Siren only got two? That's not how it works. The thing is, is each character, Vale got 200 episodes, Siren got 200 episodes altogether, and Asylum is not to 200 episodes yet, all right? So there will be about maybe 50-some to 60 episodes of this Another Skyrim Tale to bring his total number of episodes to 200 and that will be the end of his story so that's what i want to do so he hasn't had more it's just the, the games that he's been in um i haven't played as long okay because veil vale, i played skyrim for 200 episodes straight because skyrim is a better game for modern computers and doesn't crash constantly whereas oblivion and fallout broke so sun coast okay so that's why that's why. So this is technically Asylum's third series, but it's still part of the first 200 episodes. All right? Sweet. Okay. Wait a minute. I need my other lightning. There we go. Okay, so there is definitely... There's like a wolf here. Are you a bad doggy or a good doggy? I need to know either you're a bad doggy or a good go doggy. Are you... Oh, you're a bad doggy. Sorry, bad doggy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put um, healing on like... Six or something, so I can just switch to that real quick if I need to. There we go. There we go. Healing up. That actually works pretty good. All right. Put on my lightning, and then we go. All right. So I've never played as a mage really before, so I hope I'm doing a good job. I don't know if I am though. Oh, that's a drop. Uh, there we go. Okay. So far, so good. <laughs> I missed you too, Asylum. I really did. I really did. This is this is nice. This is nice. It's not all bad. Sometimes there's nice, fun moments where we're just hunting bad loot. Come on, buddy. Come get it. Come on. I know you want it. Can't hit him from here. And there's two of them. Do I have a potion to put up my um, mana potion? There we go. Okay. Put up my mana and sneak up on him. Sneak up. I think he sees me. Definitely sees me. Die, 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 die. Oh, there's three of them. I didn't see there were three of them. Sword time. Sword time. One. Come on, Asylum. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Oh, man. You have not lost a step, buddy. You might be old, but you can still kick what when you need to. Oh, there. Get him. Yes. Whew. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right. Things are going really well, actually. Wow. Should I be taking their pelts? I probably should. They're probably worth something. This one doesn't even have a pelt. What? <laughs> He's got fur. What? Okay, where's the other one? I killed one up here. I remember killing one up here somewhere. Or did I? I don't know. I feel like I did, but now I can't... I know there's... There were more than... You know what? I'll just go this way and just pretend that I only killed one. Alright, there's a... 
There's a fire or something over here. What's this? Okay, I'm just double checking because I don't know what to be looking for yet. What is this? Suspicious soil mound. You require a shovel. Oh, there's a shovel. Okay, asylum. I think there's buried treasure here. There's buried treasure. Okay. Um. Oh, sweet. There is a book of light magic, bone meal, uh, coins, health potion, petty soul gem, and a skull. Sweet. There's actually buried treasure here. Asylum. This is the this is the stuff you wanted me doing your entire life. You want always wanted to be a pirate. This is awesome. Okay, let's read that book while we have it. Light magic. Awesome. Our magic increased. Sweet. Okay, this is a cute little, like, camp. It's still smoldering, which means the people might still be around here somewhere. There's no bed to sleep, though. I was hoping to actually be able to go to sleep, because I don't think you could just sleep anywhere in this mod. <laughs> Cooking some crab. <laughs> <laughs> oh, leave it to a crab to get an epic kill cam. All right, it is. This is so awesome. I am so glad that this is working. All right, let's see. Should I check the waterfall for treasure? I mean, that's like video game 101 that you always check the waterfalls because you never know. Waterfalls can hold all kinds of beautiful things. Okay, this one looks like it's mainly just just rock. Wait, what was that? Jewelry box! I knew it! Silver ring! I knew it! I knew it! Every time you check the waterfalls, you're gonna find something cool. Okay. Let's put on that silver ring. There we go. Now we look awesome. Now you got a ring. Oh, I'm sorry. I killed your friend. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a bad person to crab. I'm sorry. Okay, river crabs. I, I need to sleep. See, uh, you cannot rest at this time. Now, I have a mod on to let you, like, rest to pass the time, but it never works for me. I'll, I'll try and rest and it just says, you cannot rest at this time. So I don't know what that means. Um, I don't really want that flower. I would like to be able to sleep somewhere. Maybe we have to go and find an inn in town. Now, I don't even know if there is a town anywhere near here because I don't know anything about this mod. So I'm just going to keep walking and hope I can find something. It's getting kind of dark. Um, what's this? Wait a minute. Did you guys hear that? Wait, is that Nurn Root? Please be Nurn Root. Please, Asylum. When's the last time you had Nurn Root? How long has it been? Where is it? I can hear. Oh. There it is. Look at it. Look at it shimmer. <gasps> it's so beautiful. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm getting a little choked up. Listen to its songs. <sighs> that was good. That was good. Our first Nurn Root has been collected. T today is a day for singing. Today is a day for celebration. We have our first Nurn Root. What in the world is that? Spider webs. Uh oh. Let's see what's in here. Morning air, potion, poison of woe, four of them? Potion, four potions, it's a coin purse? Okay. Okay, what is this? Oh, oh, hi! Now would you look at that? I knew I'd seen someone scrambling in the mountains. What brings you here, my I wasn't sir? scrambling, I was striding. Um, that's a long story. Where am I here? Wait. Where am I here? Asylum, are you okay with grammar? <laughs> and who are you? Who am I? Finn Delirez, apothecarius by my path. Pleased to meet you. And you are at Sun Coast, in the south of Endor. I can't understand a word he's saying. Where are you from? Uh, but wait, don't tell me. I know that accent. Nerim, isn't it? I... There we go. What? Who's that? Everything's locked up. At least for the night. Who are you guys? Wait a second. Who's that? Wait, I can't <sighs> see. What's going on? Just an adventurer on his way. No reason to worry. No reason to worry? For heck's sake, Finn. How do you know that this guy isn't with the bandits? 
You said you'd call me if anyone showed up. And now you're... you're standing here, having a chat with him as if this were the bathing house of Ark. Lo and behold, we are still alive. Now, is there anything else, Carbos? <laughs> I've got my eye on you. Touch any of our stuff, and you'll regret it. Yeah, I'll touch all your stuff I want. <sighs> May I present Carbos as he lives and breathes. Yeah, he's a great guy. Sorry about that just now. That's just how he is. In any case, if you don't need any more help, I'd suggest you move on. Follow the way east behind the dam house. It'll lead you to a village called uh, Riverville. Okay. Ah, here, take this. Truth be told, you don't look so healthy. Your eyes. <laughs> ah, well. No, whatever. they. They always. They always look yellow or gold. I don't know why they do, but. Um, can you tell me more about the region? I don't care. Um, uh, can I trade some goods with you? Hmm, yeah, why not? Show me what you've got. Maybe I have some things you can use. Alright, let's see what he's got. He's got some beef ambrosia. I might need that. You don't have enough pennies. Okay, how much is this? 215 per... Oh, wow, okay, maybe not. Uh, life absorption, wine, uh, health potion. I might need that. How many pennies do I have? I've... 27 pennies? I'm broke! Alright, let me see. What can I sell him, though? That might be worth something. What about this knife? I don't know. Like... Nothing is worth very much. A lot of my stuff is kind of not worth it. Wait, where's the those jewels I had? Um, I'm gonna sell that. Where are the jewels? There we go. That's worth something. Uh, I'll keep that. Um, I'm sell those. That. That. Keep that. Sell those. Alright, awesome! Uh, that's good enough. I still don't have much gold, but it's better than nothing. Alright, how do I... How do I... No, I don't wanna... I wanna, I wanna leave from talking. No, I, I, I'm good. Um, th that's it for now. Don't mention it. I wish you a quick recovery and safe roads. Walk blessed. Uh, Carbons. you too, Do we need the buddy? Still tomorrow, or can I clean all the tools? Wow, look at all their stuff. Place is Finn. I'm playing. Don't bother me. <sighs> I guess that means no. Uh, don't just... Whoa! 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 What just happened? What? I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Help! I'm blind. By the righteous path. What happened to you? You look as if you've met the Black Guardian himself. I can't see. Why do you sound like the the? Why do you sound like the Night Doctor? Yes, I suddenly have this kind of fever. Do you have any idea what it could be? Fever? Well, um, <laughs> there could be many causes. I can't see you. Wait a moment. I think I still have some grunt root. That should be enough to ease your pain, at least for now. Okay. Take a seat at the fire. The warmth might help you. Um, oh, so now okay, good thing there's an arrow because I can't see. Well, can you, can, the strangers are about to die of fever, I can't see. Yes, I can't see. I'm blind. We swore. I'm actually Remember, blind. To help the afflicted. To whatever. I can't. Thank you. Gruntroots. Gruntroots. I can't ah, see anything. Go. It's all blurry and dark. Please give me something! I need to be able to see! I can't do an entire playthrough and I'm blind! I'm not playing a blind character! That would be way too so, hard! Let's see. Sheer cup. Some water. Oh, he's gonna take his good old sweet time, isn't he? Finn! The still! What? Do something, What? Do something, What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Oh, sod it. Do I really have to watch every step you take? <sighs> hey, I'm sorry, all right. We'll pick up a new one in Ark. Yeah. What happened? And you're paying for it. What happened? I thought this bloody day couldn't get any worse. <sighs> this day isn't getting any better. Here, drink this. It'll help you. Okay. See? You already look a lot better. 
Still, you should let a priest take a look at that fever as soon as possible. The grunt root potion will wane in a few days. Thank you. Uh, w what in blazes just what? happened? You mean the still? Bad quality. And too much heat, I'd wager. But, eh, whatever will be, will be. Okay, but the explosion, the voices, they were yours. Uh, explosion? I'm not sure I'll follow. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Finn Galleries. Died in 8234. Cause of death, exploding still. Ha ha. Look, I really don't know what you're talking about. Maybe... Wait a second. What was that? What? Uh, what? I could have sworn I saw something moving over there. Uh, oh! The Carbos! <laughs> he took an arrow straight to his... And those bastards... have hit me. Couldn't happen to a nicer person. Carbos, I... Do something, dammit! Oh! oh! What the heck? Now would you look at that? Our mysterious survivor has awoken. I can't see. I'm. What? Where am I? Who are you? Why am I? What is going on? I'm looking out of my belt. Who Jaspar are you? Jaspar Matumiel Delveric. Jaspar for short. And you, my friend, are in my very own campsite. Why am I in your campsite? You ask, yes, the bandits killed both of the apothecary. The only reason you're still alive is that the impact of the explosion threw you right into a thicket. Luckily enough, most of your injuries are only superficial, and I've already taken care of them. Okay. Your fever, though, is an entirely different story. Uh, my fever? Do you know anything about yep. it? Quite a lot, actually. You're suffering from first-degree arcanist's fever. I'm quite surprised that the old apothecarius didn't see that, to be honest. You're suddenly capable of doing things you previously knew only from the bard songs, right? And you're feeling unusually strong and dizzy at the same time? While drinking herbal potions leaves a, well kind of a, a bitter feeling in your head? Uh, it does, yes. Then this Arcanist Fever is responsible for these things that I can suddenly do, the magic? Yep. Your magical talent has broken free inside you. I don't have any myself, but I've worked together with enough Arcanists to know the signs. Simply put, what's happening is that your body can't cope with the magic. This isn't much of a problem at first, but if you don't do anything about it within the next couple of months, you'll find yourself running through the heartland naked, throwing fireballs at everything that moves. <laughs> you'll lose your mind, to speak plain and all. Okay. But the fever can be treated, right? Yes, of course. Though someone who's magically gifted will always react differently to certain situations than someone who isn't. As I said, some herbs will always worsen your fever, as will magically contaminated areas. Okay. And what about these visions? visions? Uh, don't worry about it. So, what can I do about the fever? Are you sure? The Andralian spider plague is known to cause visions in the infected. And if that's what you got in that old temple, you should start digging your grave. Because your body parts will start falling off in a few hours if you don't do something about it. Oh. Uh, where can I find a cure? <laughs> Nowhere. Because that plague doesn't exist. I have no You're idea a jerk. what kind of visions you know you're that? talking about. Since the only visions I know of are those that come along with a good pipe of peace weed. But your reaction shows that you were trying to keep something from me. And that's not a good idea if you want my help. Hmm. You know what? Someone has to take care of your fever. And as it happens, I know someone who could. But in return, I want you to tell me everything. How did you get here? And what did you do in that temple? And what exactly did you see in those visions? I can't put my finger on it, but there's something strange about you. And that makes me curious. So, healing for information. What do you say? Uh, sure. Then shoot. I'm eager to listen. Alright. I will tell you all about the great things that have happened in the first episode. Hmm. I understand. My condolences for your loss. Wait, whose loss? So that means you Did somehow I lose somebody? survived this execution. And before oh. you got washed ashore, you had this... <laughs> oh, this that guy. Dream. I mean, yeah, that guy. I cared a lot about him. He's in a blinding light. <laughs> um, yes. But it wasn't just a dream. It was more like a memory. The temple I saw in it was exactly the same as the one in the valley. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. I hope so. 
So your magical outburst didn't happen slowly as it usually does, but all of a sudden after this near-death experience. And with it came these visions. Yep. Uh, correct. Interesting. I guess you know how absurd all this must sound. Yeah, I, somehow I, I get that a lot. You. Heck knows why, but I do. So, that means I'll introduce you to my employer. If anyone can help you, it's him. There is, however, one thing with which I could use a hand. The sooner we get that done, the sooner we can start our journey to Ark. Um... What exactly is Ark? The capital of this country. Ah, okay. Walls high as towers of iron-hard stone, rest alone in the mountains in granite enthroned, never decaying, the ages surveying, guarded by the Lord, and blah 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 blah, and so on and so forth. If you plan on staying in this land, sooner or later you'll see it with your own eyes. Sweet. Um, and, uh... Who is this employee? Okay. Okay, then I'll help you. The faster I get rid of this fever, the better. Splendid. There are some things that need some explanation before we can get started, however. Where should I start? I take it you've noticed that in the past two and a half years, this world has fallen into political chaos, right? Civil wars, usurpers everywhere, you name it. Uh, and sure. even though Enderol isn't directly affected by these wars going on everywhere, there are strange things happening here, too. Take the Woods Ears, for example. There have been an unusual number of reports of wanderers being attacked by them in the open. Which has never happened before. And the same goes for the lost ones, the, the living dead. Until two years ago, they were a rather rare magical phenomenon. But now every other corpse not properly cremated starts walking again as if it were the most natural thing to do. Okay. The strangest thing, however, okay, is I'm what they looking. call the Red Madness. Okay. Um... The Red Madness? Yeah. It's some kind of mental illness that makes people lose their minds. Just a couple of weeks ago, for instance, there was a smith in Ark who slaughtered his entire family. He was drunk, but that doesn't explain why he screamed things like beer the light while he was doing it, or a young noblewoman who killed herself by setting her family estate on fire for no apparent reason. Now, you might say that these kinds of things happen, but by now there have been more than a dozen of them. That, and the fact that the possessed's eyes glow red shortly before and during their deed, has made people call it the Red Madness. Oh. And just three days ago it happened again. Only this time it was a Magister from within the Holy Order itself. A uh, Magister? Right, you're not from here. A Magister is a kind of sage from the Holy Order, who teaches the young novices who are aspiring to become keepers or arcanists. Yarrow was his name. A man who had more than 60 winners on his back. Uh, what did he do? He killed 15 novices and himself. According to the only eyewitness to survive, he entered the teaching room as usual to give a lecture on alchemy. Okay. But instead, he gave a strange speech in which he explained that humanity is corrupt. Void, as he put it. And his eyes started glowing, he locked the door, and... Well, he tore himself apart with a magical explosion. Okay. You can imagine the kind of uproar that caused. Um, so what's your role in all this? You said you work for the Order, but I take it you're no monk. Well, I'm not exactly one for vows and austerity, so no, I'm no keeper. I guess you could say my specialty is recovering things that have been lost. Treasures, tomes, memories, and the like. Okay. And the Order hired me to do exactly that. Okay. They want to know how a highly intelligent man like Yarrow could fall victim to the Red Madness. And also, if there's a discernible pattern to how this malady, or whatever it is, chooses its victims. Um, in other words, you're searching for the, his motives. How could I help you with that? I don't know anything about this Yero. True, but that's irrelevant. Yero grew up in a small village named Riverville, which isn't far from here. And according to some of the other wardens, he visited this area quite often after his partner's death. So it's quite possible we could find some clues around here. Shards of his past, if you like. Okay. I've already searched most of the area, but a second pair of eyes wouldn't hurt. What do you think? Uh, sounds like a plan. Well, for starters, I need you to travel to Riverville and talk to an old man named Alfred. Okay. He was a childhood friend of Yarrow's, and he might be able to tell us something worthwhile. Okay. Secondly, a boy from the village told me that he saw Yarrow throw something into the water near a cliff to the east. Go there and see if you can find whatever it was he wanted to get rid of. I, myself, will have a look at the house Yarrow grew up in. Here, this is a map of the region. The blue dot over here is Yarrow's old house. Uh, and at the risk of sounding heartless, you should head back to the apothecary's camp. Maybe the bandits left behind some equipment. 
Okay. If there's nothing else, I'd say off we go. Let's shed some light on this Yarrow and his motivations. Meet me at his old house when you're ready. I'll be waiting there. Okay. Sweet. If a quest objective is marked by one or more stars, they indicate the difficulty of said quest. And at the same time, the level you should have for the quest. Alright, so very easy, easy, medium. Okay, got that much. Sweet. Okay. Thank you, sir. Can I search your backpack? Can I... Can I, um... Can I take your iron ore? <laughs> you didn't kill me, so I'm gonna guess I can. Okay. Uh, whoa. Honored Asylum Weaver. Here you gain Malphus Blessing, Magic of the Fast Time. From now on, you can accelerate time by simply waiting in Vin? What is Vin? But remember, you were not healed while waiting. Okay. Thank you. I understand. Uh, th thank you. I think my mod just kicked in. Okay, um... What is this? That's a... You know, I'm taking that pumpkin. That pumpkin's mine. You can't tell me not to. That is my pumpkin. I, I love that pumpkin. Okay. Sweet. And we are... Free to... Oh! Here, here come the dogs again. Let's go. Come on, puppies. Come on, puppies. Come on, puppies! There we go! Lightning! Is a dish best served? Um... Uh, now a pipe. What are you mumbling about? Why do none of these have pelts? I don't understand. Wolves have pelts. It doesn't make any sense why they don't. Anyway, that is all for this time. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Asylum continuing his journey, leave a like, leave a comment. We'll see you next time.